Hey guys, Trey and Nick here from the Pokemon Trope, and we're bringing you another video in the Battle Corner. So we're going to be showing you a uh, tool drop here. And just as a, I don't even know what to call it. Just to let you guys know, uh, this is not like a professionally made deck. I kind of threw this together. This is purely for fun. So I'm sorry to any of you tool drop advocates that think, that say, oh my gosh, this list is so bad. I, I honestly just threw this together just because we decided tool drop would be a fun thing to play so yeah let's just head right into the deck for you those of you who don't know we use this tool drop trubbish tool drop does for two energies does 20 damage times the number of tool cards attached to all pokemon both yours and your opponents so our main goal is to just get a lot of tool cards attached and hit for some insane amounts of damage uh, um Normally, you can only attach one tool card to a Pokemon, but that's why we play this Toolbox Sigilyph. You can attach up to four Pokemon tool cards to it. So, if you ha so if you have two Sigilyphs with four tools on them, and then one tool on your active Trubbish, you do have nine tools in play. That's 180 damage, and it can be a little difficult knocking out Mega Pokemon or maybe a Whale or DX. But we have plenty of tools to get there, and yeah, that's the main way we're going to do it. We do play one Safeguard Sigilyph in case we have trouble with an EX Pokemon we can send this up to let ourselves set up for a while um, we also play two Shaman EX two consistency bird dogs yes, consistency bird dog. <laughs> just so that we can draw some more cards very helps a lot with the consistency of this deck because we can easily play down item cards and let's just, let's get into those item cards uh, we do we play four ultra ball discard two cards search our deck for Pokemon pretty nice I also threw in two repeat balls in this deck. It's it's kind of a neat little thing. So like if you start with a Trubbish and a Sigilyph and you have a bunch of tools, then you can repeat ball for another Sigilyph so you can get all your tools down or just easily get out of Trubbish. Or even if you have a Shaman on your bench, you can repeat ball for another Shaman. I think it's a pretty nice card in this yeah, deck. It works pretty well. We also play four Roller Skates, just really focusing on that item-based draw. You know, flip a coin if heads, draw three cards. Really nice to use. Uh, we did put in one Sacred Ash because, I mean, they do have to knock out six non-EXs to win the game, and we only can play four Trubbish, so we do play Sacred Ash to shuffle in at least two Trubbish so that we can attack with six different Trubbishes. Um, we do play one Switch just because really it's really nice if one of your Pokemon gets stuck active for whatever reason, like you want to switch between Trubbishes and the Trubbish doesn't have a Float Stone on it. Or if you get poisoned for whatever reason, it's a really nice card to have. And we also play four VS Seeker. Just get any supporter out of our discard pile. Really nice card. Uh, now we'll go into the supporters. Uh, you know, just one Colrus. Pr pretty standard. Uh, just really nice to draw multiple cards. Uh, two Lysander. Also pretty standard. Just so that we can knock out whatever we need to or whatever we want to. We only play one N because this deck is very aggressive. And it does take prize cards very early, sometimes as early as your first turn, if you do go second. And then we play four Professor Sycamore, just to be as aggressive as possible, just draw through our deck. We don't have any evolutions or anything like that, so we can just play all our basic Pokemon down right away. Generally can play out our entire hand, because it's most of our deck is items. We do play four Dimensional Valley. What it does, it all of your Psychic Pokemon attacks, well, both yours and your opponents, cost one colorless less. And that makes it so that our Tool Drop Trubbish can attack for one Psychic Energy, which is a pretty big deal. T tool Drop used to have to play EXP shares to so that you could get an energy off the active Trubbish that got knocked out. And it, was, it worked for the time, but this is a lot faster. We can use more tools that we want to, and it just lets us attack as early as turn one as opposed to having to wait for two turns. And let's go into the probably the most important cards in the deck the tool cards okay so we play four floatstone very nice i'll just attach one to a sigilyph or shamans and then if they get brought up active for whatever reason you can easily just retreat out of it uh we play two damage modifier tools we play two muscle van and two silver bangle silver bangle is really nice for hitting the uh ex pokemon because it does do third damage only if it's an ex pokemon Helps you hit those magic numbers like 210 on like Mega Manectric or Mega Gardevoir and like 230 on Dragon 
Mega Rayquaza, stuff like that. That's the reason why I still wrangle some deck. But then Muscle Band can also help if you don't have quite enough tools to knock out EX, non-EX Pokemon. Um, I just kind of threw this in here last minute. It seems like a pretty fun card. Sparkling Robe makes it so that you can't be affected by special conditions. And that can really help in certain matchups. Like, it, say you're being... You have to go against, just really, if you play against decks with Hypnotoxic Laser, really makes it a little more difficult to knock out your Trubbish. And it's a pretty nice card, and, you know, more tool cards, the better. You can just throw those down anywhere. Uh, we do play three Headringer, which is a pre pretty cool. So you can attach tools to your opponent's Pokemon, assuming that they are EXs. So it helps, you, helps your tool drop do more damage, and it slows down your opponents because they need more energies on their EX Pokemon to attack. And our Ace Pick... Our A spec for the deck is Life Dew, which is really awesome, actually. So that if when you put this on a Trubbish and then they attack a Trubbish and they don't get to take a prize card, it's just really awesome. So then it slows down your opponent even more. And it's when your Trubbish when your Trubbishes are knocking out EXs every turn and they're not getting prize cards for it or they miss getting your prize card for one turn, it's really awesome. And then we just play six Psychic Energy to top off the deck. It does run pretty low on energies because of the Dimension Valley. You only need one energy to attack. But yeah, um, this is a pretty fun deck. Uh, we just we just threw this together just to have a fun time with you guys today. And yeah, Trey, do you have anything else to say before we start heading into the battles? Uh, let's get battling. Let's let's go, guys. Hey guys, here for our first battle with the Tool Drop deck. Looks like we're going to have a lot of fun. Uh, guy playing a... Electric, colorless, metal, and grass. Yep. And we're, our opponent's doing the coin flip. Playing against WWE Y... Ouch, I don't know how to say that. I don't know, but that's that's an interesting name there, buddy. Um, I guess we could go first. Yeah, that seems fine. Yeah. Something I didn't mention in the beginning of the video and the intro... We definitely lose to any startling megaphones. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah, that, no, we don't want to see those. But, you know what? We're just going to have fun, not worry about the risk of an easy loss. Yeah. Okay, so he starts with a Pikachu. Ooh, we're going to see some Raichus, aren't we? Probably. But he does have to evolve to attack, and it means he's probably not playing any lasers. We're going to put a Life Dew on the active Trubbish. We'll put a Muscle Band... And a sparkling robe on the sigilith. Sigil sigilith or sigilith? Sigilith? I I say sigilith. Eh. But I yeah, that's just me. Okay, we're gonna use Shaman, draw four cards. Uh not Ooh. have to we don't have too great of a hand. Uh we'll attach a psychic to the active trouble. So we already have a float stone on the This one doesn't. But we'll put that sigilith down. I guess we'll attach Floatstone to... We'll attach a floatstone to it. Uh, yeah. And not? we'll put... We'll put a sparkling, sparkling robe, robe there. Yeah. yeah. We try not to attach tools to our Shaman, because if he wants to put a Headringer on our Shaman, he can do that. We do not care at all. Yes. That, that actually be... helps us. Yeah. So that's why we don't put our tools on our own. Uh, he plays an Ultra Ball, discards, Ooh, Execute, metal. and a Metal. I kind of wonder what Metal Pokemon he's playing. Yeah. Oh, oh, Bronze. There's Bronze. Oh, over. okay. So he's playing... The Raichu with Bronzong. That's a pretty cool play. I assume he also plays Crobats in there. But the... Ooh, wait, oh. And that's a Rayquaza. Oh, oh, I see. He's playing Metal Rayquaza with, with Raichu. Raichu. And okay. he just happened to start the Pik Pikachu. Pikachu. Okay, now now this makes a lot more sense. This makes sense. Okay, so yeah, he's going to... He gets the Spirit Link off the Trainer's Mail. He's going to attach we it there. That. Yeah, you can attach your tools. That's fine. I would have liked to get a Headringer on it, but it's whatever. Uh oh. Yeah, we're in a bad spot. We're going to need a we're top deck, need... an Ultra Ball, or a Supporter, or a Repeat Ball, really. Just any sort of Pokemon search, and then hope that the other Shaman's in our deck. And, yeah, and, until then, we we wait for our fate to be decided. Um, let's see if our, I don't know if our opponent's going to do anything else. Uh, he also hasn't played a Supporter. He might have an N in his hand, and he's not sure if he wants to play it. Because he didn't see us play a supporter. Yeah, so I can understand he's that. He's gonna propagate. Look, he's probably gonna be playing an Ultra Ball with that. Hmm. I don't see why else he would get that out of discard. Do do do. 
Yep, Ultra Ball, discard, Swablu, and an Execute. Realizing he's probably not going to need Altaria for this matchup. Gets the Mega Rayquaza. Pretty good to get that out. Turn one. That's pretty nice. And yeah, we'll see what else our opponent does from here. He's got four cards left in his hand. Very well could have a supporter, but I don't know. Play the end. Yeah, I mean, if we get... If we top deck an energy, that could also be pretty cool. And he's playing a Winona. Okay, he plays a Winona. Probably going to get another Rayquaza, Mega Rayquaza. Maybe just straight up manually evolve into it. Yep, I think that's what he's going to do. He's just going to put that down, Mega Evolve to end his turn. Oh, he even has a Spirit Link for he that. Even has okay. a spirit link. Wow. So if we top deck an energy, we could also do some fun stuff. Maybe knock out a Shaman. Oh, there's an energy. Oh, so, boy. I don't we don't we don't have enough to knock out the Mega Rayquaza. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in play. So we're doing one forty. We could knock out a Shaman though. I feel like that's our go to play. I think we should do that. Just try and be as aggressive as possible. Take just getting three EX knockouts will be pretty easy. So we're gonna do that. And we get the Sycamore and a floatstone. That's pretty wow. nice. Nice. So he's I assume he's probably gonna knock out our Shrubbish this turn. That's the basic assumption with this deck and then we'll just need to get another trubbish and an energy down this turn which shouldn't be too hard i don't believe we just we've only played the lysander right yep. i believe we have only played yes a lysander and if he doesn't knock us out i might just lysander up the other shaman we might just that do sounds that like a plan but i do he puts on the sky, sky field. field okay we do play four dimension valley so we'll be able to counter that pretty easily he yeah. gets the execute Probably doesn't need to put that onto his bench because he only needs what three bench Pokemon knock out a Trubbish. Ooh, Dowsing Machine. Ooh, Gets Dowsing Machine. Rid of a Bronzong and and a Execute. What is he going for? Probably Winona. Probably to get a Shaman and then maybe another Mega Quasi line. Yup, he gets the Winona. I believe he's definitely going to grab at least one Shaman. Probably another basic Rayquaza X at least. Yup, gets Shaman Rayquaza. And that's it. That's it. Wow. Okay. Play those two and then shame him for six. six. You know what that means? He gets a fist bump, fist but bump. we can't give him one, so we'll just give each other one. Yeah, you know, because as met some of you players who have been in the competitive scene for a while, they you know, for, for Professor Juniper with zero cards in your hand, you usually typically do a high five. Well, we decided that shaman for six is pretty good, but you know, it's it's a little different, so we'll, we'll do a we'll do a fist bump. You know, just yeah. keep keep the good vibes in the Pokemon community going. So, yeah, he's going to... So he Ultra Ball, discarded Bronzor, and a Chorus. He's going to get out of Bronzong, probably start setting up this Mega Quaza. And if he doesn't... If he can't attack this turn, that will definitely be really good for us. We'll, yeah. Because we'll be able to second more. We'll be able to just go off. But we'll see. And he doesn't. Oh, boy. Okay, wow. so we're going to attach a Floatstone. This, I think this one already has a Floatstone. Does it? No, this one has, does. So we'll attach a Floatstone to this. Attach floats under that. Because he's probably not going to play a Headringer. Yep. And we'll stick more. Okay. This is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. We get that uh, Headringer. We can Headringer that other ways of EX. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Well, wait. Let's see how much damage we're doing right now. Right now, we're doing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we just need three more tools. And we got three more tools in our hand. Okay. Yep, we can do that. So we're going to... I'm going to repeat ball... Grab a Trubbish so that we can have that ready to attack. And I'm going to play the Dimension Valley before the Headringer so that he doesn't decide to discard the EX with the Headringer. He's probably just going to get rid of a Shaman here. Yep, that's what he does. Yep, that's, so now we're gonna, that's what we planned. Then we're going to Headringer that Rayquaza, attach a Sparkling Robe to the Trubbish, attach Sparkling Robe to the Siglyph, and we're doing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, we're actually doing 240, I believe. That looks right. And we will tool drop 240 damage. Knock out, knockout. Knock out a Mega Rayquaza EX with a common. Yes, you heard it here first, folks. It is a common. <laughs> well, you probably didn't hear it first. But it's a common. That's all that matters. So, yeah, we're definitely in a good spot to win the game. We even have, we have an energy and versus seeker for the Lysander. We can knock out one of these Pokemon really easily right he did his spirit link did get put into this card when we knocked out so he is doing um 
So we are only doing 220 right now, but that still knocks out a Mega Rayquaza, so we don't even care. We take those. <laughs> and the fun part is, is that even once he knocks out this Trubbish... He don't get a prize. He doesn't get a prize. Life Dude prevents him from taking a prize card. Makes him take one less. So... And then we just have this other Trubbish. Even if he bumps our stadium, we have another Psychic Energy. So... We win. We, we pretty much win, unless some crazy end comes out and we draw nothing. So he plays Sacred Ash. He just put in a lot of Pokemon. I didn't actually pay attention. Oh, oh there's an man. end. Okay, we're, we're good. We're good. We still we, got that Shaman. Still got a Shaman. That's pretty cool. He will knock us out, and that's fine. We'll be able to put fill up our bench and then Shaman. Um, yep. And he still doesn't get a knockout. Sorry. Okay, that's pretty cool. And we got a Silver Bangle. We got a Silver Bangle. We can play that. We'll just play that down onto the Sigilith, and we'll Shaman, Sig Charge, Four Fist six. Bump. And I believe that's the That's the win. Yeah, we... That we, is the win. We'll just attach We're here. Uh, let's see how many... Let's try and get as much stuff out as possible. Why didn't you... What? Attach to the Trubbish. Yeah, the Dimension Valley's in play. Oh, my bad. Yeah. So we're going to Ultra Ball. We'll just get rid of the Siglyph. We don't care. We're going to Sycamore. Let's try and get as many tool cards in play. We're going to play some Roller Skates. We actually haven't seen any Roller Skates this game. Flip ahead. Oh, boy. We got other Roller Skates. Got more Roller Skates. We're going. We're going to keep going. Oh, boy. Uh, we get another Headringer. We got another Floatstone. We're going to put that there. We got another Silver Bangle. I think think that's everything. We're going to retreat into the Trubbish. Don't want to count it. We'll just see the numbers. And Tool Drop for 300 damage. damage. Yes. Wow. That was a great game. That truly just showed the power of Tool Drop. That was fantastic. <laughs> Yeah, our opponent wasn't... I mean, he was kind of able to get set up, but we were just able to play too aggressively. Uh, how many... How many our biggest attack, 300. We did 680 damage that game. He attacked, He only got to attack once. Yep. Well, I think there's our first battle video. I, I think we'll go for another. We'll go for another. We'll go for another. We'll be right back with our second battle with the very powerful Tool Drop Trubbish. Hey guys, we're back for our second video with Tool Drop. We did just win the Full Art Pokemon Fan Club. We finished the versus reward stuff, Woo! so that was cool. Woo! We're playing against Trick Lava with a Steel Colorless deck, and we do have the advantage. We're gonna call heads. And we, we get it. Because, you know, we're just, uh, we're too good. Uh, sure we'll go first. first. Why not? Just because usually our, any most of the time okay. your opponent wants to go first, so it's better just take that away from him. Uh, yeah, well, uh, he's in a, that's a well, weird deck. Yeah, I, don't, I can't really tell what it is from... I don't know. He, well, we know he's playing Metal, so he's probably playing some sort of Bronzong, I would think. Yeah. We'll draw another card, why not? Ooh, we get that Roller Skates, so clutch. Ooh, Sigilith. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, ooh, so <laughs> he's playing Clink, Bronze or Bronzong Clink Clang. Well, that Clink Clang's not going to help, because we only attack with Donny X's, so... We'll attach to the Trubbish, we'll Roller Skates, flipping heads, pretty nice there. We got a Siglyph over there. Got a Siglyph. We're just going to attach a bunch of tool cards. Um, I don't know if you want to attach one of those to Trubbish, though. Probably not, but I don't... i just go for the Siglyph. Uh, we can Ultra Ball for another Siglyph. Keep the Sycamore in our hand, I think. Yeah. Yeah, we can get rid of a Sparkling Rope. I'm not sure how much I like Sparkling Rope. I just kind of threw it in, honestly. Not even really thinking too much about how good it'd be. I think I think my thought process that it'd be good against Seismitoad because then they have to two shot a Trubbish. I think that was my reasoning behind it. So yeah, we'll draw until we have six. Not quite fist bump worthy, fist bump worthy, but we tried. So we tried. Uh, we'll flip for roller skates and we get another heads. Wow. And we will attach here. Yep. Do we want to? Do we want to just? Sycamore, Ultra Ball, maybe for another Pokemon. Uh, well, we have the other. Do you want to play another? Could play another Sigilyph. Unless you want to get the third attacker. Yeah, we can play another Sigilyph. That's fine. And well, just Sycamore. Yeah, Why not? Sycamore. Okay, we get another Floatstone. We'll put that over here. We'll play another Roller Skates. Oh, we oh, had to flip first... Tails eventually. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I think we're fine holding this hand. I think that's a strong turn. 
Well, yeah, we'll just end our turn. Yeah, we definitely need, want to get the Dimension Valley out soon, but it's, I think it's okay not putting it down on the first turn, because if they put down a stadium, then we can just easily counter it and win the stadium more that way. Uh, our opponent does play a switch into the Clink, puts another tool down for us. That That's perfectly fine with us. And, okay, it's cool. Puts an energy on the Bronzor and puts a full art full Seeker Rare Dialga EX. Full Metal Dialga. You can actually see the Dialga on... PTC Joe, which is nice. But yeah. Okay, so he's going to pass, so that means he probably has nothing. So in that case, I think the only supporter we have is a Sycamore. Indeed. Yep. So we might want to play it our hand real fast, like. Yep. So we're going to attach a Muscle Band here. Might as well. Well, Ultra Ball. We'll take a good look through our deck. I Actually, we haven't looked through our deck. See how many? We have a few Dimension Valleys in here. Good. We have our Ace Spec. Got our Ace Spec in here. Ooh, we only have one energy left in our deck. That must mean that that means that three psychic energies are prized. I think. Wow. Wow, that is. Yeah, that's not good. Well, okay then. Uh, we're we're not gonna take anything. We will sacred ash put in the one sigla. Why not? Sycamore. Four seven with no cards in our hand. High five. Yeah, boy. Uh, okay, so. We can head ringer. We can head ringer that Dialga. That's yes, really nice. That make, it's really nice. Make him take at least four energies to attack. Um. We'll roller skates, why not? Okay, fair enough. We flip two heads, flip two tails. <laughs> we can deal with that, I guess. Um, we'll put the sparkling robe on... What? Uh, we'll just put on one of these. Maybe save for our last blood zone for that shaman. Uh, we'll just tool drop, get the knockout 160 60. with the... I think he had resistance. I can't believe that wasn't an energy. Yeah. We had a 50% chance of getting an energy. Well... I don't believe that he will be able to knock us out this turn, uh, but we can Lysander up the Shaman next turn and have a give us a pretty good shot at getting energy. But uh, yeah, he evolves in the Bronzong. Ooh, evolving in the this. Ooh, I think we. Yeah, I think. Oh, he oh, scoops the game. He scoops. Okay. Um, do we want to leave this video in and then just add another yep, one? Yep, this looks like a third battle. To me. Looks like a third battle. Just shows you how quickly Tool Drive can just. Tool drop can just dominate the game. He, I mean, our opponent just had a pretty bad setup. But we'll definitely show you another game. And, yeah, we'll be right back. Yep. Hey, guys, we're back for game three. We're playing against Flau Flaufy. 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 Uh, he's playing Grass and Steel. Was that Steel or Colorless? I don't know. Oh, well, we'll I see. Definitely Grass. But, yeah, our opponent's probably going to go first. Yep. That's fine by us. We can always attack T1 if we get the right cards. And up. We both mulligan. We'll pretend like that didn't happen. Well, you're actually allowed to play Tierno and Sharon in the same deck, I guess. Even though they're the same card. Well, I guess they didn't let you do that with Juniper because Juniper was such a strong card. I guess that makes sense. And he's mulliganing a lot. We're going to draw a lot of extra are cards. There, oh, are my there lord. any basics in here? I hope he plays basics. Oh, my lord. What? What? How many times? Oh, my goodness. How many? Does he? I, I'm afraid he might only play one basic. And we're what? we're gonna draw a lot of cards. <laughs> we are going. Wait a to... second. Okay, actually, let me play. Whoa. <laughs> Does he play any basics? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he got. He has a basic now. <laughs> Guys, I think we're gonna draw every single one of those cards. We're gonna have a lot of fun with this. We're gonna draw like half our deck on the first turn. No regrets. <laughs> we'll probably draw the one end in our deck. Hopefully. <laughs> um. I assume we'll draw, we'll probably draw what we need. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm not even counting. I think six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve, twelve. 12, I think. Uh, we can almost fill up our bench. Uh, we'll just put those two down. I can't even see what's in our hand. We have a float zone for sure. We have some roller skates. Uh, we actually don't have a dimension valley or anything like that. Okay, so he has a Venusaur EX. This might be his only basic, uh, but we'll see. Oh, oh, and he scoops. <laughs> <laughs> we have to leave this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even sure what just happened. I don't know what just happened, but we just drew like <laughs> 10 cards off of a mole. I didn't even know he had a basic. I got it. Yeah, I got it. He probably... He played one Venusaur X, I guess. <laughs> well, thank you, Flaufy. Thank you, Flaufy.
Or that was floppy. fantastic. We will be back with one more. <laughs> we'll play an actual game for you guys. We're going to leave this in here because that was great. Hey guys, we're back for, I guess, our third battle. <laughs> <laughs> um, still pretty amazed by what happened back there. Uh, we're playing against Juanato. Juanato? I, I guess, yeah. I guess. Juanato. Uh, He's playing Steel and Colas. I I didn't actually see, so yeah. yeah. I think, is he going first? I think he's going first. I believe he is going first. Yeah, he's going first. Oh no, Do Doom Desire. Oh strong. no, <laughs> Doom Desire. Oh lord. Um, just kind of a note to you guys why we thought that was funny. Uh, I was playing a Raichu Crobat deck, and I decided just for fun, because like our, you know Quentin plays Seismitoad Garbodor a lot, so just for fun we decided to. I decided to put in a, um, what's it called? Uh, the Doom's Desire Jirachi into yeah. my um, Raichu Bats deck as, like, the, you know, the one of, the one non-EX, uh, the one extra attacker for Raichu Crobat. Oh, wow, we have two sick off surprise. But, yeah, so we put that into the deck, and <laughs> it just, it made Quentin so sad because he had to work so hard to make yeah. sure his Seismitoad didn't get knocked out <laughs> by Jirachi. But back to the game. Uh, Shaman, fist bump. That's oh, what's up. Holy crap! That's a lot of cards. Um, wow. We'll just, we'll just uh, head ringer that. There we go. Do that. Mm, that's what we do. We'll leave the muscle band in our hands. See what yeah. Happens. Hopefully, take down another. Well, he actually can doom desire and have us get knocked out next turn, and that that wouldn't be cool. I wouldn't like that at all. Yeah, I don't know how much I'd enjoy that. I definitely want it. Oh, he's going to AZ bring up. Oh, fine. 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 We have we'll, another We'll one. do it again. We'll do it again. Let's go again. Let's go again. <laughs> Once more with feeling. Okay, he's going to use diminutive desire. Look at the top seven cards of your deck. Put one of them in your hand. That's a pretty good consistency card, I think. Maybe not worth what the spot. What does he even do? Look at the top seven cards of your deck. Put one of them in your hand. Oh, wow. And then the second attack is pretty good. If they have no way to do so. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to head ringer you again. Let's head right Yeah, how do you feel about how? Yeah. And I think we do. We actually do need a muscle band down to knock him out. Knock him we out. We need to get, yeah. We'll just, I guess we'll just, we'll just take knock that knockout. Knock we, we, we take those, I guess. It's kind of. Oh. And we get the Sycamore. That's what's up. That's what's up. So, yeah, we definitely needed that. Um, Definitely wanted to get another Siglyph off the oh, boy. honestly. But, yeah, we definitely need those tool drop Siglyphs. Those are pretty important. Uh, our opponent plays the teammates. Uh, well, I have. Has he even played anything else? Uh, I played a Birch and an AZ. AZ. Yep. So, so I mean, he's been pulling stuff, I guess. Yeah, we'll see. Well, I guess we won't technically see what he gets, but he'll probably play him. More than likely, there's okay. an Aegislash. Well, that's not going to help him a lot because. But that Shaman will help him drop. That Shaman. Yeah. Aegislash, you know, with the Mighty Shield ability, make it so you can't get hit by a. And he plays a Steel Shelter. Yep. And we can play all of those. Sigmore! Wow, yeah, that's what's up. Nice. Um, I guess we, we can. Yeah, I mean, might is. I actually might save it so that when if he knocks us out. Okay, that's a good point. Um, yeah, do you want to play any more? I think we'll put that down. Honestly, you could play. Yeah, that on the. Yeah, I mean, honestly, you could. I'd play that on that Siglyph and then that on the other one. Yeah, I might want an Ultra Ball to get a Shaman draw more cards. That might be an okay play. Wait, how many? How much damage are you doing? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then minus one because of resistance. So we're doing, we're doing one fifty right now. So we will do one fifty plus that thirty. I did account. For oh, that. you did. Okay. Yeah, because it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh no, we're doing one seventy. We need one more tool. Yeah, I think we should go for that one tool. Uh, do no. I think we want to keep that. Honestly, I think we can keep Dimension Valley. We're going to draw some cards with the Shaman. Yeah, okay. So we'll do that. Yeah, I was just w worried that there was... I had actually didn't check to see if there's another Shaman, so that kind of yeah, worried me. I was, yeah, I was but like... Do we, we got this. I, I kind of want to go for a fist bump. Do you uh, go for we're going to go for a fist bump. We're going to go for a fist bump. That's what's up. And we... Oh, wow, we missed... We missed, we missed the other tool. tool. How? Oh, my gosh. I, well, whatever. That's fine. upsetting. 170. We'll probably still get a knockout. Well, that is That is upsetting. I feel like he won't be able to attack. So he I won't mean, be able to attack this turn. We can Lysander up and knock out that um, Age, Age Slash, slash honestly. Yeah, I mean, that would probably be a solid play. Yep. Oh, okay. okay. Fine, fine. Who's okay, Shelter? Fine. We have two we, Dimension Valleys in our hand. See if we care. Yeah, exactly. 
pretty it's the bronze fight, fight us down. man fight us about it yeah so he will have this Aegislash slash ready to attack he technically could attack with that and that might be a little rough for us because we i don't know if we'd have a good way to respond if he hopefully he that. does it if we can lysander knock that out that would actually be really awesome he's gonna ultra ball this card two medals this probably is good. what is he probably i would think he would get a bronze or wouldn't he another bronze yeah yep. that's what i think yeah. pretty good so he can set up multiple age slash but yeah we're just gonna knock out this age slash and oh, oh no okay so this makes it a little harder we do have to get some more tools into play but we can we can deal we can deal uh yeah we just have that one in there okay. um yeah we, we definitely want to set that up um uh, okay. oh boy oh wow we missed the one tool okay we were off by one we got that tool uh well what it doesn't really matter which one we put it down on uh we i think we have to sick yep we have to sick more that sucks um yeah we'll put we'll dimension, dimension valley, valley yeah sacred up. ash just play down as many cards as we can um uh, do that. honestly Ooh. yeah I, I think we're gonna need to attach that other trubbish just in case i mean yeah we'll attach this other trubbish just in case it's a good idea we'll reverse seeker we're, we're gonna need that sick sick more. more i think we we just need to get a few more tool cards out i don't know the exact amount but Ooh, we need to find a Pokemon to put that on. Honestly, um, there's that repeat ball. That works. So, then we can put. Do you want to put Flowstone on it? Oh yeah, Flowstone on the Shaman. Do that. Um, We're doing one, two, th one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep, we're getting a knockout. Okay, that's good for us. Yeah, we might. We're in kind of a Ooh, weird spot. That was, that was close. Yeah, we're in honestly. a weird spot where we're kind of we are really we, low we, on energy. We did not get what any tool drop. What? We didn't get any. Oh yeah, we didn't get any of the any more Siglev. Yep. I mean, we're kind of okay for now, but yeah, we didn't get any Siglev off that pride draw. Yeah, that how is that even possible? We might we have two in there, don't we? Yeah, we have two prides. That is, that is true. Yeah, the main thing I'm worried about is that we're running out of energy. Yeah, we're, we definitely are running out of energy. Yeah. Uh, we, um, I feel like oh. he's going to get that Aegis Slash ready. Yeah, he's he's probably going to... We might have to Lysander that up. Yeah, that's going to be the main threat right now, so we're going to Lysander that up because we are definitely running out of energies. We only have one in the deck. I I actually didn't check to see if it's even in the deck. Probably is, considering the fact that we know that two of these prize we're cards are... We're Lysandering that thing up. Yeah, considering the fact that two of the prize cards are the... Toolbox Siglyph. There's, it's probably in the deck. But yeah, tool drop. Do another one. Oh, and he scoops. And he scooped. Well, that was another rough game for our opponent. Do. I feel like four, yeah, three, three and a half. We're gonna call that three and a half games. <laughs> if we want to even call that one game half a game. Yeah. But, yeah. Well, we had a lot of fun, guys. This is probably one of the most fun we have on PTCGO. Oh, Battle definitely. Corner. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe. We'll try to get some more awesome games to you guys soon. Uh, with Ancient Origins coming out in a week now. Yeah, about yeah, a week. About a week. Um, yeah. And make sure to comment on any decks you want to be see us do in the Battle Corner. More than likely, we can build it, except for Primal on. Can't quite do that yet. We'll yeah. get there. But, yeah, with Ancient Origins coming out soon, we're going to have a bunch of vi awesome videos for you guys. Awesome Battle Corner videos. Awesome Pokemon videos. Yeah. Make sure to like and subscribe, comment if for whatever you want to see, and I got I don't have anything else. What you got anything else, Trey? Nope. Just make sure to stay tuned, guys. Yep. Well, that's Pokemon Trope signing off. Pokemon, Pokemon Trope, Trope out. out.